Hello guys, Justin here. Welcome back to the new video. So in this video, we'll try to do the uh, demonstration on a typical IoT application. So where we have uh, the, the sensor data and then we have uh, the server and then we have uh, the user. So on the sensor data will be pushed to the server and then it will be visualized in the user browser. And also the user is able to control the device devices remotely using the uh, command control protocol here. Uh, so let's say if you have uh, the temperature sensor or humidity sensor inside your house and then if the temperature increase and then the user can trigger uh, to turn on the AC remotely or the lux for the lux for example in the evening they know uh, light at all then the server can trigger the control command control so that we can turn on the light okay so uh, in order to do this uh, implementation I'm going to use the boss SDK for the device side and then on the back end we use the Amazon Web Services and then we install the Rapid MQ uh, for the public and supply protocol. We also deploy our web server uh, on the Amazon EC2, and then the web server will be implemented using the Java, and the user interface here will be implemented using the ReactJS from Facebook, and then. Now let's go and view the Boss SDK. So this is the Boss SDK. So it have uh, everything we want. So it have a humidity sensor, it have a pressure sensor, temperature sensor, and also digital light sensor. It have a built-in uh, multiple protocol. Uh, let's say the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, and we can use it in our demonstration today so the device will be connected into your home Wi-Fi access point and then it will send data to the server for the receiving command control command we also use the Wi-Fi here okay uh, we are going to use the Eclipse meter Eclipse meter to program the XTK sensor so if you don't know about the Eclipse uh, Eclip meter then you check, check it out in the uh, my video in the link below okay so at the end we able to have uh, the app running like this to visualize the, uh, the sensor in the real time and you can see we have uh, on the top will be the temperatures we have uh, the humidity, we have uh, the air pressure, we have uh, the light uh, value here. On the right side, we have uh, the light status and the, the button to control on or off the, the light. In the below, we have uh, the, the chart to display the historical data for all the parameter. Okay, so um, you can see now uh, we will have a device running like this I'm able to control it you see the light here you turn on I'm able to control it turn off click the button then it will turn off in here you can see it will turn off and then the the indicative here also off you're able to turn it on using the physical button here as well okay so when, when I press the button, it would turn on the light. And then, uh, so what next? Um, we can see here, the lux here. I can use my finger to hide the sensor. And then you see it updated to one. Okay. So if I remove my finger, it will be on. Okay. So let me turn off the light and then let's say 
in the evening so there no luck is on the light will be turned on automatically so let's see the use case I has the sensor lux become one and then you see the light will be turned on see okay so let's get started 